My name is Catherine Jonash. I'm our Vice President of Operations and Customer Success, and I've been with the organization for about a year and a half and have had the pleasure of working with our clinical team, uh, particularly in the New Hampshire area where we've been supporting this program. My name is Alexis Ducharme. I'm the Director of Marketing uh, and Growth Operations here at Birchstead. Uh, I've been with the organization for about two years and was really drawn to it for its mission and its vision. We were founded you know, several years ago by a public health trained dentist who really was focused on our mission of expanding high quality oral health care for all. And so there was very much at the foundation of the organization an interest in making preventive oral health care services available, particularly in underserved communities. And so as we as, we, as an organization have expanded into different markets, we've, we're always looking for ways in which we can bring our services and enable our clinical team to help engage people in the community with oral health care as we really know that oral health is tied to overall health. I would say the biggest impact that I've seen kind of in talking with our clinical team and with our uh, leaders at each of these organizations is our ability to reconnect a patient and their family with oral health care and by helping them both receive our services on site where it's convenient for them, but then connecting them in follow up to their visits with a dental home that is nearby that can provide any restorative and follow up care that they need. We're actually helping them re engage with oral health in a really different way than they've been able to on their own. Prior to COVID, we always prided ourselves on providing high quality care in a safe environment. But with COVID, we definitely looked at our safety uh, measures and updated them to provide um, care that people will be comfortable in. And during that time, you know, we made sure to educate the community and what sort of care and measures we are taking to ensure that the process remains safe and that people felt comfortable and confident in knowing that, you know, they wouldn't be exposed to COVID. Uh, I would also say we took this time to ramp up our teledentistry services. So now we can provide care uh, no matter where the patient is, whether it's at school, at a club, you know, if it's at an employer's office, but then also at home. It's the passion that our clinical team has towards this giving back work. Uh, our uh, hygienists and uh, dentists are always looking for additional resources and tools that they can share at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we often have, you know, uh, tales from the wild. And those are the stories that are most passionate. So it's um, our clinical team desire to be able to make a bigger impact within this community and always coming up with new ideas to uh, bring new resources and new ideas to this giving back program. It's important to give back because when our organization was founded, it actually wasn't founded, like Catherine mentioned, uh, to be a company, an organization that was, you know, profitable. Originally, it was all founded about providing care and resources to those who can't, who don't have access or can't get access. And so I think for us, you know, uh, obviously to be a company, you know, we need to make money, but we also are all very, feel very strongly about our mission, about our vision, about giving back to the community.